Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here. I am very excited for today's P.O. Box Pickups video. So much stuff to go over. Uh, giveaways going on right over here. I got a big old box from Biggity Big 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 Bad Toy Store. And then I also have a 1UP box unboxing and then a bunch of letters and I got this package right over here. I uh, got another package right over here from ACBA. Book nice 10 sent this over. Uh, this may include my comic book cutouts that I bought along with some new products from ACBA So I'll be reviewing this stuff uh, probably next week and then um, Giveaways, so this is actually a contest prize that never got claimed I'd, I'd sent messages numerous times and just never got a response So after all this time I'm giving it to somebody else uh, These are all from NECA Toys. Thanks so much NECA Toys for providing these figures This is the Alien Kane figure right here you also get the Alien 3 Dog Alien, and then lastly the Alien's Bishop. So, off, I just hit myself in the head like a moron. And uh, yeah, so that will be going up to a winner. The way you can win that is by going to shardimusprime.net. And do this after you watch this video, by the way. So after the video, you go to shardimusprime.net and look up the Queen Alien video. That's how you go. So you go to the Queen Alien video and leave a comment there. And then a winner will be randomly selected and announced in next week's P.O. Box pickup video. Uh, again, uh, thanks to NECA Toys, I'll have the power loader. Uh, I'll be reviewing the power loader uh, in the near future. So I'm very excited for that. Uh, I'll have a lot more giveaways in the future too. Uh, Kotobuki is going to be helping out with some giveaways as well, and uh, and we're going to and then yeah so then that's just basically to help with the Patreon account. So I have even more stuff to give out here. I have an Armorauders Bellerophon that is valued at two hundred and fifty dollars, which I'll be sending out to uh, one of my patrons that pledged twenty dollars or more. Um, for the majority of you, I ask that you send in one dollar a month. See, in San Francisco, minimum wage is twelve bucks. So imagine just one hour's worth of work for an entire year of videos. You know, that's like pretty minimal, I think. So be a patron, uh, one dollar a month, and you get access to uh, guaranteed access to the Big Time Letdown Spider-Man compilation videos, and plus it helps keep this whole thing going of me sending stuff out to you guys. That's the whole thing. I have a lot of figures. Uh, and there's a lot of figures that I just have sitting around, so I would love to send this guy, send this stuff out your guys' way. And the more patrons I get, the easier it is for me to do that. Okay. All right. So let's look at some of the stuff that we got over here from the peel box. Excuse me for the runny nose. I don't know why I got these like allergy things going on right now. Uh, probably. Uh, I don't know. Okay. So I think this is from Monster Mash. It says Jay Navarro on here. But I'm not 100% sure. Oh, shoot. Before I open this, I actually have to show off this piece of fan art right here. This guy, Luke, sent this to me, and I absolutely love it. If I don't show it off now, I'll forget. And I prefer you guys send stuff in the P.O. Box, because it's just easier to show it off. But I still, I mean, wow. Look at that. First Order Stormtrooper Shardimus. Can you see it? That is so freaking cool. Lucius Designs, I think, is what he what he has himself called. And he used some Photoshop in here. I just think this is great. It's got my likeness down. Even a mohawk on the Stormtrooper helmet. That is too badass. Thank you so much, Luke. I think that is incredible. I just had to plug that away. I thought that was great. And then, uh, something really incredible in here. If it is what I think it is. If not, then I will... Nope. It's exactly what I thought it was going to be. Oh, my God. You got to check this guy's stuff out. Ah, okay. Uh, man, I cannot begin to tell you how thrilled I am that you like my custom Lady Legends. I started collecting Marvel Legends after seeing a few of your reviews a couple years ago. I hope you like this Valkyrie as much as I do and keep up the awesome work, man. It's very much appreciated. JJ uh, Monster Mash. You have to follow this guy on Instagram. Monster Mash. I'll put a link below. It's M U N S T E R underscore Mash. And I, like he said, I absolutely love his customs that he does on his Lady Marvel Legends. It is, and he just wanted to send this out to me. And oh my God! So I want to send him. I actually want to commission his work for uh, a custom Psylocke. The Psylocke. Wow. Oh man. Those legs. See. Oh, dude, I love how the legs go all the way up on this one. Oop, drop the sword. 
Look at that. That is, and I'll be reviewing this too. This is incredible. Dude, great job. The little speckled pieces of paper on here. Wow, that is fantastic, man. Can you see that? Look at that. It's a little preview right now, but this is gorgeous. And I like how I use the Odin cape right there. And wow, this is really, this is how the figure I think should have looked. Instead of the all black legs, I'd mentioned that in my review. I wanted the all legs. So, damn man, thank you so much. This is awesome. You killed it, dude. This is really, really cool. Damn, I cannot. Wow, yeah, she's totally going up there. This is great. Ah, oh, look at it one more time. Okay, just beautiful. Well done. Excellent shading. All right, I'm gonna mess with this a little bit later on and safely place it right here for right now. So yeah, check out his Instagram. Uh, he did. Just a ton of awesome customs over there. I highly recommend it. All right, so this is from Jordan again uh, from St. Lucie, Fl or Port St. Lucie, Florida. Ooh, nice spidey right there. All right, and I'm doing the best I can getting through all these letters. You guys have been incredibly generous, um, but I'm going through them in the order of which they have been received. I'm trying my best, the best I can. All oh, right, like this. All right, it says, uh, see, this is dated 9:26. Uh, Dear Shardmas Prime, my name is Daniel, and I am 13 years old. I have been collecting Marvel Legends for five years, and I have nine figures already. Number one, do you think that the Marvel Select Thor, the Dark World figure, fits in scale with uh, Marvel Legends Thanos Wave, Captain America, Hulk, and Iron Man? Uh, excuse me for belching. I actually happen to have that figure right here. And I have my Marvel Legends Captain America. No, this is not working. That's, I mean, yeah, I think that's just way too big. This is almost like Hulk size, you know what I mean, compared to the Captain America. So, no, I would say that does not fit. And, oh, oh, oh shit, alright, damn it, I'll fix that later. Uh, number two, are you and Charlita one uh, having a good day? To be honest with you, my day has been really crappy up until the last <laughs> 30 minutes because I woke up, well, and I got the sniffles, but I woke up with this, uh, I laid down the wrong way while we were watching some House MD yesterday. And I had this excruciating pain coming from right here, all the way up into here, up here, and here. It was like a line. Like, of just excruciating pain. Uh, but with lots of water, some Excedrin, and a tennis ball against the wall to help massage it out, and a couple hours later, uh, I'm feeling alright. So, yeah, that really sucked. But anyway, uh, but now my day's doing a lot better. Gotta go to Guitar Center and do some drum lessons. And looking forward to that, and really enjoying giving drum lessons. Uh, who do you think, number three is, who do you think is the best Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure that's come out <coughs> from Hasbro, excuse me. Uh, I would still probably say the Fin Fang Foom. Uh, okay, thanks for answering my questions, and I hope that you become a celebrity and get rich because you and Charlotte One are the best. I don't think that's ever going to happen, but thank you. P.S. I hope you like the drawing. And uh, what what a big time letdown costume. Nice. I like that little bit of short art right there. Very, very cool. Thank you so much, man. That is awesome. Good questions, by the way. And, oh, we get some more art right over here. All right. Oh, cool. Toys are hella sick. Go big time. Let down Spider-Man. Rock on. Taking bad hits. Taking fat shits, but they are taking fat hits. Yeah, but that is cool. Uh, I like that a lot. That is going up on the fridge. Thank you so much, man. That is awesome. Excellent stuff. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, next letter. And this is from Singapore. And I'm going to need a knife or my uh, trusty blade right here. All right. Try not to ruin the contents inside. Put that right in y'all. And come on now. Come on, come on. All right, there we go. And, oh, okay, it's a return envelope. Okay, so it's a lot of pipers in here and really big writing. Dear Shardimus Prime, it's Shake here and it has been a long time since I last mailed to you. I actually sent you a HP box, but all your uh, recent PO box pickups, vids, and I didn't see you open one 
uh, or probably this letter came after you opened the box. Sorry if that happened. Uh, uh, an HP box. I don't think I got an HP box. Uh, I just want to say the way you display your figurines have kickstart an engine of displaying figurines to my liking. Here are a few questions I have to ask you, and thanks for the compliment. Uh, number one, can you send me a return letter? Uh, please ask your wife if she could be in the video with you. Will you stay awesome? <laughs> oh wait, you already are. Thank you so much, man. Uh, I'll try to get the return. Um, if you guys want return stuff, I, I you gotta send like a, a return envelope with the stamp and all that stuff. It makes it easier for me to... I'll, I'll try to, but I'm not gonna promise though, okay man? Especially because you're all the way the hell out in Singapore. Okay, and then it says, anyways, I can only afford to send you an extra return envelope. Uh, but no stamp, okay, because I wasn't quite sure of the postage prices. Alright, well, I'll see what I could do. Um, because I am in Singapore, so there's no way of knowing the postage price. Uh, could you please read this mail in your next chart mail video, of course. Uh, shout out from your fan. In Singapore, stay awesome. My return address is in here too, and on the back of the envelope too. Bye, by the way, you inspired me to collect figurines in the first place. Awesome, man. And then it says, see the next page. Oh, right on. And then he has his return address and all that stuff. And a picture of me playing with Hot Toys Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, and I think that's from the one where I had a broken, I had a broken figure. All right, I'll I'll try to send out uh, something your way. Uh, very busy guy though, man. If if I don't do it, please forgive me, but I'll try. Okay, I can promise you that I'll try. All right, and oh man, okay, we have time for just well, let's let's see. Uh, oh, I didn't set up a clock or anything, so I have no idea. But anyway. I dare you to read this in a British accent, is what it says right here, and it says Royal Mail. Oh my god, I have to share this story with you guys, I almost don't want to share it, but when I was out on my camping trip uh, to Yosemite, I was out there with my wife, the lovely Charlita One, and my parents, and we went hiking, and there's this, uh, there's this British family, and it was so adorable, they were like, doing like a pretend cake thing, and then my dad just somehow just ended up speaking with a British accent all of a sudden. And I'm like, no, what are you doing? Like, why are you doing that? Okay, so now I gotta read this in a British accent. Alright, it says, uh, and out, wait, hold on, let me clear my nose. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, it says, alright, let's see if I can do this in the British accent. My British accent kind of sucks. Or if it's, alright. Hey, what's up, Shortimus? I've, I've, I always feel a bit rude typing letters instead of handwriting them, but if you saw my handwriting, then you'd probably even start to appreciate the big time let down Spidey for its neatness. My name's Mike, I'm 24, and I live in the UK, near good old London, and I've been collecting Marvel Legends for, oh, um, wow, 11 years. What a nerd. I've been watching your channel for ages and ages, and always check out your reviews by buying fig before buying fi a figure. Thanks for all you do, it's great. I know it keeps you busy, but I for one really appreciate it. It's cool because it's quite a lonely hobby, really. If you don't know anyone else who collects figures, which I don't, I've got friends, don't worry, but none of them have an, an, any interest in action figures as it's something I do by myself. But it's nice to watch a show and I see there are others collecting in the world. I also write and draw my own comic. I, uh, it started as a university project, my course was so cool, and I've kept doing it since, sort of. I've released one volume of five issues last October, and I'll be releasing another one this October, and hopefully releasing one next October too, if I can finish it in time. Although my actual job keeps me a bit too busy to draw that much these days. That's awesome, man. Um, it's an art, it's a horror comic, and not really for kids. It basically came out about... Uh, because there's loads of movies about demons coming out, like Paranormal Activity and that sort of thing. And whereas most people don't believe in things like that these days, at least in the UK, some people do. I'm a Christian, so I believe in God and the devil, and I know not everyone would agree with me, but I wanted to do a comic about the good side to all the supernatural things some people believe. So it ended up being about a priest with an axe who goes around dealing with monsters. I wondered if you could give it a cheeky plug on your channel so if someone did want to read it, they'd know where to find it. You can find it at www.lulu.com backslash spotlight backslash backslash Mike is a hero. Oh, an underscore in between the mic is a hero. I'll put a link below, I'll try to. Uh, please don't worry if you don't want to plug something you don't know. That's fair enough. I have a couple of questions for you too, quickly. 
Well, one, which 2016 Marvel Legends are you most excited for at the moment? Um, Build-A-Figure Absorbing Man. Totally excited for Build-A-Figure Absor Absorbing Man. Uh, I've seen some pictures of a Jim Lee Rogue that look amazing. If that's coming out next year, then the Jim Lee Rogue. That's right. Uh, and then two, have you ever been to the UK? Uh, do you like it if you did? I have never been to the UK and I would love to go. I really, really would like to go. Uh, believe it or not, my last name comes from Scotland. My grandfather thought our ancestry was from England, but um, yeah, luckily, just only like about a year before he passed away, I was able to let him know. Like, actually, it's Scottish last name, a clan of Aikens from Scotland. And I talked to numerous Scottish people about it. They're like, oh yeah, that's definitely a Scottish last name. So uh, yeah, so um, I know Scotland and the UK. I mean, the whole. I would love to visit Europe in general, though. Uh, you know what I mean? I would wouldn't want to only stop at the UK, but that would be a must for me. Um, I would also want to see, uh, I'd love, uh, Spain, France, Italy, Italy, I'd love to see Italy, I'd love to go to Malta, especially because that's where my dad's family's from too. Uh, but anyway, it says, uh, anyway, keep up the good work, and I hope you like the sketch of Wolverine. Uh, if you're ever in London, I want someone to take you to all the comic shops and let me know. Mike, please don't read my email out, out, uh, out online. Thanks. All right, cool. And then there's his email address. Awesome. So much. So cool, Mike. Thank you very much, man. And yeah, uh, definitely would like, all right. Oh, cool. Yeah, see, very nice art. Yeah, no shame in plugging his stuff right there. That is very cool. Right on. Uh, I'm a big fan of Preacher. And, oh, cool. Jacob Saint. Nice. So this reminds me of Preacher. I like that kind of stuff, by the way. Like horror uh, comics that touch like on the religious and, and the demon side of things. Like Haunt from Kirkman and McFarlane. And uh, Preacher is my all-time favorite read. Uh, aside from Walking Dead. Those two. Alright, so let's move on to the P.O. box. Uh, or actually, let's move on to the 1-Up box. And then we'll do the, uh, the Big Bad Toy Store. So this is the 1-Up box packaging right here and I think it's all Halloween based stuff right I think I saw on the social media and I always open these things wrong okay just lifts up right here oh yes it is oh wow all right cool uh, first off we get the uh, lovely surely one's gonna love this this is going to be hers it looks like it's supposed to be a glow in the dark but we get a nightmare before Christmas Jack Skellington keychain that is super cool digging that she's gonna love that and we get a Walking Dead Daryl keychain right there. Okay, I don't know. I might, I might have a friend that I can give that to. I'm not. Oh, we got Pop Rocks. Um, oh, this is like a glow in the dark. Uh, there's usually a pamphlet. Oh my God! I needed this so bad. You don't understand how happy I am to see this right here. Okay. Um, this is, <laughs> I call these night goggles, you know what I mean, the nightshades, but I desperately need one of these. Charlita One and I have only one of these. I've been meaning to buy one and just haven't done it, but we fight over this because the way our bed is set up, it's just right against the window, so we wake up with the sun beaming right in our faces every morning. And it's a good way to wake up early, but at the same time, there's days where I really need to sleep in or catch up on more sleep. I don't really sleep so much. It's kind of a sad thing. You'd think a guy that works from home would like be sleeping all day, but no, I don't really get that much sleep. It's, it sucks. But anyway, thank you so much, 1UP Box. Desperately needed this. And then we get this t-shirt. What we got here? Oh, cool. And Luigi. Oh, right on. I love this. Yes. This is uh, Luigi from Luigi's Haunted Mansion, right? Looks like it's from Luigi's Haunted Mansion right there. And Luigi is my favorite Nintendo character, so I'm super stoked to have this one. Awesome, and I'm wearing last month's 1UP box right there already. And then, what the hell is this? This is like some kind of bracelet or something? I'll have to look at the little instruction things, but it looks like it's bendy. And we get some Pop Rocks. Cotton Candy Explosion. Alright, cool. It's been a while since I had me some Pop Rocks. And we get the one, ooh, Zombie Donatello right there for the 1UP box thingy. Focus, focus, you bastard. All right, well, that's as close as you're going to get. By you bastard, I mean the damn camera. Oh, we get a poster in here. Ooh, nightmare. And we get Luigi. Oh, is this Luigi and Daryl? That's kind of funny. It's a funny combination. And the Nightmare Before Christmas, so this is a poster kind of 
caps encapsulates everything that's inside this one-up box. So pretty neat. Somebody had asked me for the poster that I'd gotten from last month. And if you want this poster too, because I don't have room for posters right now, let me know. I'll try to send them out. And what was that? Uh, it was a paracord bracelet. This glow-in-the-dark bracelet will guide you to the other side. All right, cool. Right on. All right, that's, that's interesting. All right, so let's move on to the BBTS unboxing. All right, so much stuff. Yeah, and I know one thing that's in... Oh, wait, I, I think I remember everything that I got in here. I just don't understand why it's so big. I don't remember ordering anything very large. All right. Oh, yes, now I remember. Okay, so here's a bunch of stuff. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got the Mafex Stormtrooper. I haven't gotten a Mafex figure in a long time, but I had to get this one. We got the Mafex Stormtrooper right there. Yeah! Looking really dope. Looks pretty large. Already I feel like he's kind of big. Let's see, compared to a Black Series Stormtrooper. Right out the gate, doing a size comparison. More or less about the same size. Ah, wait for the review. Well, yeah, I'll do this. I didn't get the Darth Vader because I saw somebody review the Darth Vader and I was like, I don't know if I want to get that one. And then I picked this up. I had to get this. Uh, this is a T-800 from NECA Toys. Oh, man, the ultimate T-800, by the way. Had to get this. Terminator 2 being uh, definitely one of my all-time favorite movies ever. Uh, Terminator 2 I watched so many times when I was a kid to the point where I ruined the VHS tape. And then I also got an extra flame effect uh, for those stop animations and I just found myself, you know, just running out of space as far as me wanting to add more flames around here. So um, I ended up taking all the flame effects apart that I had scattered around the room, moved them in there, you know, for the big time letdown Spider-Man segments and all that. And now I have this set so I can repose all that stuff with my flame effects right here. And then lastly, we have the Egg Attack Amazing Spider-Man 2. This is the very first egg attack figure that I think has come out, and oop, the velcro, the sticky stuff that holds the velcro together didn't hold up. Oh wow. This is incredibly interesting and looks very cool. Super poseable. Amazing Spider Man 2 egg attack Spidey. So it's a mini Spidey. And you can see right here. Wow. And then the box is really nice too, though. There he is. So I'm not really typically into like the little cutesy design stuff, but of course Spider-Man I can make an exception and I just thought this was cool, so I wanted to order it and review it. So I'll have a review of this guy coming up Saturday. Uh ooh, excuse me. I'll have a review coming up uh for the SH Figure Arts Thor tomorrow. And then the DC Collectibles Batman from the animated series will be up Friday and then Saturday. We got the Spidey right over here. All right, you guys, thank you so much for sending stuff my way. Thank you so much for the letters. Uh, again, Patreon account, $1 a month, 12 bucks for the year. I think that's totally fair. And, uh, and it just keeps the giveaways going. And remember, if you want to get the alien stuff, go to the, the Queen Alien video at shardmissprime.net. Leave a comment, and I'll have an... an uh, I'll have an... an uh, I can't speak! I'll have a winner announced next week. All right. Send your letters and artwork to Shard Miss Prime at P.O. Box 384, Pacifica, California, 94044. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.